Pluto is a distant and stealthy, more unpretentious planet that was once a piece of the nearby system of planets. However, the progress is troubling. Announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Meokaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They proposed that this chilly world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this really work? And what are some potential outcomes of such an enormous event? Are we seeing a bewildering, huge erraticism? Or is there something else to this looming, and ending setback? Join us as we take a gander at the potential results of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a past planet that was made a dwarf planet again, continues to be a topic of interest and research in the vast universe. Recent examples, like guesses from leading specialists, show Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. And astrophysicists Neil Meokaku and Degrassi Tyson are both raising the alarm about a potential hazardous accident between these two planets, which could represent a massive threat to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's trip around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It requires a dazzling 148 years to complete a single orbit. Additionally, since its 1930 discovery, it has only completed one full revolution. At any rate, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its particularly elliptical shape, deviating significantly from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What intensifies Pluto's orbit? Its inclination, which is, surprisingly, 17 to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is significantly more regular compared to other planets. This tendency and unpredictability add layers of complexity to its orbital arrangement. Potentially one of the most intriguing parts of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto moves closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect from their positions in the planetary system. This prompts the usual question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the effects of gravitation on other planets. The examination of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers attempted to figure out its unique path. In contrast to other planets, whose orbits fairly close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its deep inclination and erratic shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, despite these complications, is evidence of the complexities of the mechanics of the universe. The three-body problem in space requires figuring out how three space objects, Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like attempting to predict their destination based on how and where they begin pulling on one another. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. Terms like orbital and non-concurrent libration, precession, and VZK wobbling are key to this puzzle, as explained by astrophysicists. What keeps all planets in their orbits is non-concurrent libration. Concerning Pluto and Neptune, this basically means that when Pluto crosses the orbit of Neptune, it is positioned no less than 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial division is essential for preventing their orbits from meeting. Precession of the orbit, on the other hand, focuses on the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, which adds an additional layer of protection from any possible effects. Another key factor in this situation is the VZK wobbling, named after three researchers Zell, Kai, and others who studied how objects move in space. It involves how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. In Pluto's case, the VZK wobbling helps us understand why its orbit close to the Sun is so unusual. Despite Pluto's orbit appearing chaotic, this wobbling helps keep it moving smoothly over extended periods. The VZK wobbling shows that, despite the fact that space seems wild and unpredictable, patterns and rules maintain some control. 
These forces help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring that it doesn't collide with Neptune or drift off course. This three-body problem is crucial in understanding how these orbits change due to the way space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant worlds and their stars. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite the stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is actually erratic, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to huge differences over centuries. However, these peculiarities of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over extremely long time scales. Checking the disruption from later automatic examinations has helped us understand how the giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where one orbit occurs every two times Neptune and the Sun complete, Pluto completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only one at work. The gravity of Jupiter also plays a huge role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. Saturn also plays a role. These studies show that Jupiter's massive gravity is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for a long time, potentially even for millions of years. So, maybe Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune are cooperating to ensure the survival of Pluto to move safely through space without running into trouble. These idiosyncrasies are key to keeping everything in place and safe in space. The solar system, as it is now, would be a significantly more violent place. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, triggering chaos together with other celestial bodies. Pluto, particularly with discussions about its potentially upcoming collision with Neptune, underscores why understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives a better understanding of the dynamic nature of the nearby planetary system. Pluto's case demonstrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of balance through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and the physics of the orbit. It also emphasizes the importance of constant observation and study of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often forces us to confront the odd nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of this irregularity. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the fragile dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly demonstrated in Pluto's case. This means that even minor adjustments to the dwarf planet's speed or position can drastically alter its orbit over time. Using automated simulations has been hugely helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune pull on each other. By tweaking small details in the simulations, space researchers can see how even minuscule changes can make a huge difference in where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these experiments. Something interesting was shown about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like asynchronous vibration and orbital precession to keep it stable, its orbit can still be inconsistent and unusual. If you start with just a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking completely different after just a few years. Yet, Pluto's orbit persists despite the chaos and remains constant over an extensive time span, like billions of years. This indicates that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a kind of order to it. Even though it initially appears wild, celestial motion, particularly when it involves irregular orbits like Pluto's, is a massive challenge. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term forecast tests are often filled with uncertainties. While numerical models provide excellent tools for understanding and predicting the future motions of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limits of our predictive abilities. These models rely heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions. Furthermore, even a minor error or distortion can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise predictions a daunting task. Beyond the chaotic nature of planetary orbits, Pluto reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the entire world. 
While we've made huge strides in understanding space, Pluto's case reminds us how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Grasping the gravitational impacts of giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can significantly affect the stability and processes of other bodies in the system. So, why have leading astrophysicists recently raised concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces trying to prevent it, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist and a major figure in advancing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on our solar system's unsolved mysteries, especially the intriguing case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in reclassifying Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides an insightful evaluation of the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the overlooked corners of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's reclassification is based on the ever-expanding knowledge of our solar system. He sees the reclassification not as a diminishment but as a necessary adjustment to our growing understanding of the various bodies orbiting our sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and change. He sees the complexities of orbits similar to Pluto's as an indication of how much there is still to discover in space. The attention paid to these questions keeps the study of space exciting. However, despite Tyson's optimism, his thoughts on Pluto's potential collision with Neptune paint a different picture. His concerns about the future of the dwarf planet are viewed scientifically. As Pluto's orbit continues to change, Tyson sees a possibility of a collision with Neptune. What would this mean for the system as a whole? Would Neptune survive? Would Pluto be destroyed? These are questions that leave us wondering how future research could offer more answers. In spite of these worries, there is still no conclusive evidence that the direction of Pluto's orbit will eventually lead to a collision with Neptune. While Tyson's warnings highlight the dangers of underestimating the complexities of planetary orbits, they also demonstrate how much more we need to learn about the dynamics of space. As we look to the future, it is crucial that we continue to investigate the intricate connections between planetary orbits in our solar system. From the smallest dwarf planets to the largest gas giants, our understanding of these cosmic mechanics will undoubtedly grow, providing a deeper understanding of the potential outcomes for bodies like Pluto. In conclusion, the future of Pluto's orbit is uncertain, but its stability, despite the potential for chaos, offers a glimpse into the complexity and beauty of the universe. Questions about a possible Pluto-Neptune collision may one day be answered. For now, however, we can appreciate the intricate, remarkable journey that Pluto continues to take around the Sun. The idea of a Pluto-Neptune collision, though fascinating and perhaps unsettling, raises questions about the ultimate fate of celestial bodies within the framework of a vast and unpredictable universe. The real takeaway here is not just about the potential for planetary destruction, but the forces that shape the orbits and trajectories of all bodies in the solar system. In some ways, this scenario, though improbable, offers a dramatic illustration of how our understanding of the cosmos must continually evolve. While the chances of an actual impact remain slim, the idea of such an event forces us to think about the long-term dynamics of our solar system that aren't always immediately apparent. In fact, the very idea of planetary instability or potential destruction points to a bigger, more profound truth about the universe. Its nature is governed by laws that are both predictable and chaotic in equal measure. The ongoing research into Pluto's orbit is a case in point. Pluto is a planet of oddities and irregularities, a reminder that even in the seemingly ordered universe of our solar system, the unexpected can happen. Beyond that, Pluto serves as an illustration of how far we have come in our comprehension of the cosmos. When it was first discovered, Pluto was seen as just an additional world in the far reaches of space. However, over the years, our understanding of what constitutes a planet has evolved. The debate over Pluto's planetary status continues to spark heated discussion in both scientific and popular circles. 
One thing is certain, the dwarf planet has captivated our imagination and kept us focused on the mysteries of the universe. As space knowledge continues to grow, so too does our appreciation for the complex dance of gravitational forces that bind planets, moons, and asteroids in their orbits. Whether or not Pluto will ever collide with Neptune, or whether its orbit will remain stable for billions of years to come, remains an unanswered question. But in the grand scheme of things, Pluto's journey through space reflects the larger story of discovery, exploration, and the search for understanding that has driven humanity to look ever farther into the heavens. As we look forward to new technological advancements in space exploration and astrophysics, it is likely that more answers will be uncovered about Pluto, Neptune, and the nature of the dynamics of their orbits. New discoveries are made almost daily in the field of astronomy. From the investigation of distant exoplanets to the study of ancient celestial bodies, these findings will assist us in completing the puzzle of the solar system's past and future and potentially offer more insight into whether a dramatic collision between Pluto and Neptune is a reality we need to prepare for or just another fascinating cosmic possibility. In the meantime, we can marvel at the breathtaking complexities of space and the ongoing efforts of scientists to untangle its mysteries. What we do know is that our understanding of the universe is far from complete. As researchers continue to study the interactions between celestial bodies, we can rest assured that there is much more to learn. The journey through space is far from over.